Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have seen how to do a retrieve operation using a content provider. Obviously, there are other operations as well like insert, update and delete operations. Retrieve operation was typically done using query method and in the same way there are other methods which are provided by the content resolver like insert update and delete methods which are part of the content resolver so in this video we will be seeing how to do these operations let us get it to a quick demo you can see that i have slightly modified my applications ui now it has got three buttons that is add contact remove contact and the update contact using which i will be doing three operations let us get started with the most simple one which is delete contact i will be entering a contact here then i will click on the remove contact that particular contact will get removed now we will have a look at the code how it is being done you can see that there are some methods over there and i will be looking at the first method which is remove contact the first thing that i am doing is creating the where clause it takes the column name against which the comparison needs to be done to do the delete operation and i am comparing it against whatever the value that i am entering in the edit text box next statement is execution of the delete method from the content resolver it takes the uri of the content provider against which the deletion has to happen and then the where clause you might observe that i am using a different content provider here something called as contact contracts dot raw contacts but while doing the retrieval operation i had used something called as contact contracts dot contacts you might be wondering why is this case this is because the structure of the content provider contacts in the android is such that you cannot do any insertion operations using the contacts you have to use a raw contacts that is why i am using the raw contacts to do the all delete update and insert operations discussing those things is beyond the scope of this particular series of videos that i am doing currently so we will go back to the current discussion how to use a content provider in a simple way next operation would be how do i update the existing contacts so i will give the id and the new value that i want to update it with instead of anil i want to rename it as ankit and you can observe that the contact got updated let us now have a look at the code what i am doing is basically getting hold of the string that i have entered in the edit text and i am splitting it along the space that exists between the number and the string that i am entering in the edit text and after that i am constructing the where clause statement the first string is basically doing a comparison id equals to question mark question mark is basically the runtime substitution that i will be doing with id after that i am just getting hold of the content resolver other than that i have created content values content values is a api by the android which can hold the key value pairs containing the column name and the value that you want to insert into that particular column name so it is like column 1 equals to value 1 column 2 equals to value 2 you can put all those things in the content values using the put method of the content values and once you have put the values that you want to update in the content values you can pass it on to the update method as you can see it once again takes the uri and the content values which is the next parameter and the remaining two parameters are basically the where clause and the question mark that it needs to be substituted with which is the params in this case it would be a id and that is how the update operation would get executed the next obvious operation is adding a contact into the application so just enter a name over in the edit text box in this case i am entering ashwini and it gets added into the context let us go back to the code and try to understand how it is being achieved you can see that the code looks quite different from what i have been telling earlier i have not used something like insert i want to highlight that android provides another api called as content provider operation which is basically another way of helping you to do any kind of batch operations so you have an array list of content provider operations and you can add multiple operations into that particular array of content provider operation and then you can use the apply batch method of the content resolver and pass the array of the content provider operations to that apply batch 
method and you can observe that in the line number 161 i am using something like new insert which is basically a insert operation to the content resolver and also you will observe that i have method like build which helps you to build this query in a much more efficient way rather than writing it on your own so in this video what we have seen or in the all previous videos what we have seen is how to use a existing content provider for your advantage that is how to consume an existing content provider the next obvious choice would be how do i create my own content provider but to do that you have to have a proper understanding of how a typical database is created in android and how do you do uh, implementation of the content provider itself to expose your content provider for the sake of any third party application so that it can consume your content provider that you have created but for that it requires a proper understanding of how data is handled in android i have a plan of starting uh, another separate series on data handling in android and as a part of that i would be covering how to create your own custom content provider so as of now this is a curtain closure to the discussion of content provider hope you like this that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye